It is nearly time for the kids to put on the costumes and go door to door for candy. But for a child with autism, this experience can be dramatically different. Denver 7's Gary Broad explains why this year you may be seeing some orange pumpkins turn blue. Hey, can I have a strawberry, please? Nicole Taylor's grandson, Luciano, affectionately named Bubba, Thank you. has a lot of love to give. Oh, oh, big squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, my goodness. I love you so much. I love you. But less than eight months ago, he was unable to tell his grandmother he loved her. He's gone from completely nonverbal to um, still being classified as nonverbal. Yeah, yeah. I think his speech is maybe around a two, three-year-old. Come on, come sit up here with God. The four-year-old is extremely active. He now loves reading with grandma. What do you see? A cake. And uses these exercises to strengthen his speech. Wow. Now that he's able to communicate, his family is hopeful this Halloween goes better than the last. You open the door and there's this little adorable little penguin just staring at you. No response, no trick or treat, no holding out. In fact, I think it didn't take him very long before it's like, yeah, I don't even want to hold this bag. It absolutely goes beyond just the children that are nonverbal. Jesse Ogus and Dr. Amanda Kelly at Firefly Autism explain. While no child with autism is the same, many do share a Halloween experience like Bubba's. I feel like for us, we spend a lot of our year planning for simple things like Halloween. And that's where this blue pumpkin comes in. It's simple. If a child comes to your door holding a blue pumpkin, not orange, it may mean that child has autism and unable to speak. Asking him for, like, say the magic word, and he's like... No. Omira's Taylor didn't start the Blue Pumpkin initiative, but her Facebook post poured the gas on an already lit match. Other families, they're like, hey, you're not alone in this. Like, I've been through the same thing. The post let her neighbors in Hawaii know why her son would be trick-or-treating with a Blue Pumpkin. It's now been shared more than 100,000 times. What's that? Nicole Taylor says her grandson will also be carrying one around this Halloween. Nobody wants to have to stop and feel like you need to say to the stranger in the store, oh, he's not responding to you because he's on the autism spectrum. Now, Dr. Kelly tells me when you do open the door to a child holding one of these blue pumpkins, don't treat the child any differently. Just don't ask them to expect them to answer any questions or expect them to say trick or treat. That's the whole point behind this awareness and inclusion. Also, these pumpkins are pretty easy to find at most major retailers. You have them at Amazon, Target. I got this one for a dollar at Walmart. And what a great idea. All right, Gary, thank you.